Okay. Yes. Valid until October 8th. So nice to look at. I know, girl, I know. You get a lot of insurance for this George Johnson. So on those, what I do is, and we're recording. Hi, Molly, how are you? Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, good, thank you. You're, it's just me and you today. I'm sure we're gonna get some other agents because everyone tends to run in a little late, but um, it's just me and you. How's your week been? Good, how about you? It's been pretty good. Um, <laughs> ready for the weekend. <laughs> good. How's, uh, how's your listing on Flemish coming along? Well, people are still looking at it pretty regularly. So okay. that's- Okay, nice. Lady, yeah, just real um, agents and then people seeing the sign calling me. So a little bit of calls. Good, good. Have you yeah. been able to pick up some buyer um, leads from that? Well, the lady, a lady came in yesterday. Uh, she's from out of town and she loves the neighborhood. I think she used to live here. Okay. And, uh, she looked at the house. She said uh, she was leaving in five minutes to go back to Colorado. Oh. But it takes me about 20 minutes to get on there if she wanted me to let her in. So she said, no, I'm leaving, but I'm coming back next week. And can you let me in other houses in the area to get a chance? So. Oh, perfect. That sounds like a good lead. Yeah, so we'll see. I'll be calling her and checking on it too. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I guess, like, like I said on, on all my classes, this training does get recorded. So we can just go ahead and, and move forward. And that way, um, we'll have it recorded. And if anybody jumps on late, um, they can always go back and watch it. Um, or it'll just kind of be available to everybody after this. Sure. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, today I wanted to kind of go over some safety precautions that we can use whenever we're working, um, you know, out on the field with our clients um, because of COVID. So mm -hmm. obviously this is just something that we've been dealing with for a few months. Mm -hmm. And um, just based off the feedback that I'm getting, realtors have, different realtors have taken different approaches. So mm -hmm. um, when COVID, well, when the quarantine, um, requirements started happening in like March of this uh -huh. year mm -hmm. some realtors quarantined with the family and just stopped working others kept working um, but now it's October 2020 you know people are definitely starting to get back to work at this point um, right. it's just to the point where everyone's kind of like well I have to do something so Right. I just kind of wanted, wanted to go over what it looks like to work safely with COVID. Um, you know, thank God I haven't tested positive, but I actually never quarantined um, when COVID hit. Um, I kept working the entire time and I really haven't had, um, the, the biggest scare that I had was um, somebody that, work, that I work close with, they had a scare. But oh. you know, luckily I've been able to, stay stay healthy and you know um and i think it, i think there's things that i'm doing right that i would like to share with everyone um i don't know that i have like a the secret sauce or there's there might be something that i'm still missing but i know that at least what i've been doing has been working um because neither myself nor any of my clients have have tested positive for covid Good. so um so I guess first and foremost, um, taking into consideration how often you really need to see your clients. So we've been offered these technology tools for years mm -hmm. and 
sometimes we use some of them, sometimes we don't, but it's one of those things that we, that it's, there's a learning curve to, to figure it out. And a lot of times we don't use what's available to us because we already have our method and our method works and we like it and we just kind of keep moving with it. And I think for like, for example, for myself, um, I know, for example, if I have a buyer, the first thing that I want to do is I want to bring them in for a buyer's consultation. I want to meet with them face to face so that we can get to know each other. They can put a, a face to the name. Um, and this helps me at least for myself, it really helps me build rapport with my clients. Right. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. So, um, that was the first thing that I stopped doing when COVID hit. So as soon as COVID hit, no more in-person consultations. And so just like I do these Zoom meetings with you guys, I now do all my consultations with my clients over Zoom, okay. unless it's absolutely necessary for me to meet them in person. So buyer's consultation, when you're just going over the preliminary, um, or even like you were mentioning this, this lead in Colorado, um, it might be a while before you actually get to meet her in person. What I've right. noticed is that now that I work with Zoom, it's actually typically quicker for me to be able to get a consultation. It's not only quicker, it's, um, it's a lot more convenient. I don't have to leave my house. I don't mm -hmm. have to go to the office. I don't have to send them to the office. A lot mm -hmm. of times we get, uh, for example, I live on the west side and the office is on the west side, um, but I get east side clients and they don't really mm -hmm. want to come all the way over here or, you know, they'll tell me, well, I get off of work at five. By the time I get there, it's six, um, <laughs> you know, like, you, you know, or then, or maybe, well, let's meet halfway or I'll meet you at a Starbucks over there. It's actually become 10 times more convenient for me to just meet on Zoom. Um, yes. So this is really nice. Um, just do you, do you have an actual Zoom account? I don't know if you guys yes. have to make one. Yes. Yeah. I'm, okay. on the, I'm on our HOA board. Okay. Set up meetings for, the, for us on Zoom. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So uh -huh. yeah. Um, even the, even the free accounts mm -hmm. are really good cause you can still uh -huh. meet on there for up to an hour. Um, uh -huh. but just like we do these, um, I've also found that it makes it, um, it incentivizes me to get their email address too. So right. typically whenever I would meet a client, I would get their name. I would get their phone number. I might get their email. I might not, but now yes. that I'm meeting on zoom. Mm -hmm. It incentivizes me to get that extra bit of information, which, sure. uh -huh. you know, you, you and I both know as much information as we have of them as possible is, is just better. So, um, that's the first thing. Now, once you get through, um, getting them pre-qualified, they've met with the lender over the phone, maybe zoom conference them. Um, and we actually go out to look at homes. The first and foremost, you have to give them instructions you can't assume that they're taking precautions um, because a lot of people just aren't. A lot of people still are just not taking precautions and they're, they're just not understanding um, just certain, certain things that we should and should not do. Um, so for example, I'm asking them not to bring their kids. Um, and I just simply just kind of go over an overview of, hey, due to COVID, um, we have to run our showings a little bit different. So I will have to ask that only you and your husband or you and your wife come to the showings, mm -hmm. please no children, um, and make sure that you wear your masks. And that's it. Um, if they ask for like a third person involved, maybe like the the mother that's co-signing or, or whatever, then, yeah. then I'll, pro I'll probably make an exception, but I also find it helpful. And you know, Molly, sometimes they bring a big group of people before yeah. COVID, they would bring a huge group of people. Right. Everybody has their opinions or sometimes the right. kids are there and kids can be very distracting whenever right. parents are trying to make a, a real decision. Mm -hmm. So honestly, <coughs> excuse me. Honestly, I think it's been a blessing in disguise um, because I'm able to tell them now, just you and your husband or just you and your wife, just you and one other person, mm -hmm. um, it really allows us to not only be safer, but even their focus is just better because there's less people now. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, once you get to the property, 
always make sure that you keep your mask on around them. Um, don't take off your mask. Make sure that they're wearing their masks. And mm -hmm. then take hand sanitizer with you. And when, when you see them, um, like before you go into a house, I would ask them to sanitize their hands. I would also take um, a tub of Clorox wipes. And I would ask them, would you like a Clorox wipe before you go in? That way you can wipe down the doorknobs as you're touching them. Because okay. in reality, I want them to be able to walk through the home and see everything that they need to see. Right. And opening doors and opening cabinets, yeah. me and you know that that's a crucial yeah. part of them really understanding the home. So I want them to be able to do it comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason I did it that way, honestly, is because gloves were just on, there was back order of gloves. I could not get my hand on a box of gloves. Right. Um, so I just thought the next best thing was I'll have them sanitize their hands before they walk mm -hmm. in and I'll give them each a Clorox wipe before they go into the house. Every, every single house we went into, a new Clorox wipe. And then we would throw those Clorox wipes away um, we would discard okay. them as we were going through the houses. Um, okay. And this seemed to work pretty well, very comfortable for the most part. Um, if anything, I think they really appreciated the extra touch of, you know, sure. me, me coming prepared. So, and, and with your buyers, that's really it. That's the only time that you really, really need to see them is when you're showing homes. After that, everything can be done over the phone. You really don't even need to Zoom conference them anymore. You've done the Zoom call, the first consultation. You've met them in person to show them homes. After that, it's all emails and phone calls, right? Right. Um, and then closing, I do recommend that you call the title company before they're closing to find out if they're going to let you in. Um, a lot of the title companies are not letting us into closings anymore. And personally, I kind of think it's a waste of time to just okay. go and show up at the lobby. So what okay. I'm doing now is, I, and I will do that if it's if it's just more convenient with my schedule. Um, so you can show up and just kind of show up to the lobby with their closing gift and congratulate them. Or yes. you can be the one to pick up the keys for them once it actually funds and then meet huh? them afterwards at the house. Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, but yeah, just so you know, title companies are, a lot of them aren't letting us in anymore. Um, okay. and then with sellers, so now on the sellers, it's, it's a whole different story. So if you have a listing, it's very different because there's actually a lot more physical engagement between maybe not yourself and them, but okay. other clients and their home now. So we really have to take extra precautions with them because we're essentially allowing their home to be exposed, right? So right. the same precautions that I took with my buyers is what I would take with my sellers, but I'm going to set it up for the buyers this time. So almost as if you were going to do an open house, you want to set up a, like a station right at the entrance, giving the buyers and the buyer's agents all the all the tools or all the equipment that they need to go through the house safely so okay. for example um on the front door you want to put on there a sign you know due to covid please uh please ensure that you keep your masks on at all times and sanitize sanitize your hands prior to walking in the home we have also provided clorox wipes um to open the doors with if you'd like um, and, and it's really just that a lot of it is just us preparing them and giving them mm -hmm. the tools because most, I think during this COVID thing, I mean, I've helped so many buyers and honestly, I think maybe one or two couples showed up prepared. Okay. Everybody yeah. had their mask, but I didn't really feel like anybody showed up really prepared, mm -hmm. like with hand sanitizer or Clorox wipes or anything like that. So we're really just doing the preparing for them. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I think the sign at the front door is pretty crucial. It, I'll, you just have to type it up. Just, just do a, a, a quick type up and you can put it in a, uh, in a sheet. What is it? The, the sheet protector. 
Uh -huh. And then just tape it onto the front door. Um, and that way it's protected from the elements. But I think that's crucial um, because it really just kind of stops them in their tracks. It stops everybody. I'm telling you, I, I worked with a lot of buyers during this time and I got to see who was doing what and how, how everybody differed. If you have right. a sign on the door and you have a station up at the front, they're going to do it. You, you've supplied okay. everything for them. And then okay. after the showing is complete, I would recommend that you recommend to your, um, to your sellers to just go through and do another um, quick wipe through of the doorknobs doorknobs handles and like cabinets those are the most frequently opened things like the just doorknobs all throughout the entire house and then kitchen cabinets more than likely um and that's just like an extra precaution for them to you know for, for them to feel comfortable also um i think this goes without being said but unfortunately i have seen people still doing it no shaking hands <laughs> no shaking hands whatsoever um i've seen there's a couple of different things that you can do because it is a little awkward for us that we're so used to shaking hands right. like what do we do to to say hi um yeah. so i my my thing is i usually like hi nice to meet you and i'll do like this thing like hey <laughs> i need i need to do something with my hands i don't know what to do so they're here you know i can't use them um, I've seen the elbow touch, right. uh, the fist pump, I've seen that, um, or like the air hug <laughs> yeah. also. So I know it sounds weird and it looks funny, but I think really like, it's just what we have to do. It's kind of awkward okay. for all of us and we have to figure it out together. Yes. Um, and then one last tip on sanitizers whatever sanitizer you're using um, doesn't necessarily have to be name brand but just make sure that it's got at least 60 percent alcohol um, in it yes. in the ingredients so you can make sure that you are actually sanitizing all those germs out right okay and i think that's about it um Go to hand sanitizers, washing your hands, um, Clorox wipes. Honestly, Clorox wipes, hand sanitizers, and face masks. If you just have those prepared, um, bring extras also. Uh, that's another thing. I bought a, a small little pack that I carry with me just in case you show up to a showing and one of the buyers doesn't have one. We, you know, the last thing that you want is for a neighbor to see you and call the cops. And now that's the group that you're with and you guys get in trouble and all this craziness. So we just want to make sure that we're doing our part whenever we're out on the field. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Just like we expect, you know, a server to do their part when we're in the restaurant or, right. you know, the mm -hmm. people at the grocery store, like this is us on the job. So we have to be extra, extra, extra precautious. And I think as long as we keep doing that, we should really be fine. Um, I know when I go into the homes, I just kind of try to stay away from opening up doors if I don't need to, or mm -hmm. if I do, I definitely do use the Clorox wipes. I just find it helpful and, and safer because we are, we are exposing ourselves a lot when we're walking into so many homes. Um, but like I said, um, going, what is this? This is 10. So this is almost six, seven months. And, you know, I've been in a lot of homes and I've worked with a lot of clients and, you know, up to this day, you know, knock on wood, thank God. But I think what I've been doing has been working and I've been watching what everybody else is doing and taking little tips and tricks and then yeah. just reminding everybody like, do this, do this, do this. Um, mm -hmm. and we should be good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions or maybe any additional suggestions that you might've seen? No, I haven't that. No, I don't, but I, I think that's good to set up a station. Mm -hmm. Uh, like how can they go into the house mm -hmm. and what i usually do that on is uh i have those little the tv dinner stands right um that's what i use for my open houses so that's what you can use for your listings also okay. um 
or the client might already have a small table yeah. that you could use like a small yeah. side table um but if if there's nothing available even i think even dollar general you can get a small side table for like five dollars i know it's right. a little extra but in reality you need something there to stop them and to be able to make them make them take that those few steps before they move forward right mm -hmm. okay sounds good well, thank but you. all right um yeah that's pretty much all i had for today it was a, a quick and short just refresher um since we're going into fall i know there's just been like a lot of talk about you know what's going to happen with covid and I, I don't I, I really don't know. I, I couldn't say, but in my opinion, no. you know, it's, it's fall, it's uh flu season's coming up. I don't think that it's going to get any better right now. <laughs> I don't, they're saying when it gets cold, it's going to really jump up. So, right. So if that's the case, really I careful. just, yeah, we need to be extra cautious and just make sure that we're doing what we can on our end. Right. Yeah, well, all right. Well, thank you so much for showing up, Molly. I really appreciate okay. it. Um, it was nice <laughs> catching up with you. Hi. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, do you have any big plans for the weekend? Um, no. My daughter-in-law is going to come visit me from Houston next week in a week. Oh, fun. To stay a few days. She's been cooped up. She works from home since March, so... She just, she's had her plans for a while, so. Nice, okay. No, nothing for the weekend, really. Same old thing. Well, I'm going to have open house on Flemish uh, Saturday, so I'll set up my station. I'll take my things over. And I think awesome. She, when you walk in, I think I'll take a little cover so things won't get her table messy. If you um, post anything on social media, make sure you tag um, the, realist, uh, the, the Realty One page. Okay. So, so that we can share it also. So whenever okay. you guys post anything, you just do the little at sign at Realty One, and that way we can share it. If, okay. if you don't do it, we don't, it, we could share it, but we would have to go in and look through every agent's profile to see what they had going on. This right. way you actually kind of send it to us and then we just hit share and then it's a, we can help promote oh, it. Okay. Right. Okay. Put it just on Facebook. Um, okay. So, well, then, you know, on the MLS. So. Okay. Awesome. Well, it was nice talking to you, Molly. Thank you again. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. All right. Well, be safe. Stay well. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.